Elsa Lanchester, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, stands out from her contemporaries for distinctive contributions to the film industry. Whether through memorable performances or versatility as an actress, she left an indelible mark on the era. What work of hers resonates with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some fascinating facts about her career. Stay tuned as we uncover funny, shocking, and poignant moments that shaped this classic Hollywood actor. We would love to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences related to Elsa Lanchester, so feel free to share in the comments. There are more intriguing details coming your way, so keep watching for a glimpse into the captivating world of this iconic figure. Elsa Lanchester, born in 92, left an indelible mark on the film industry, showcasing versatility and enduring influence throughout her career. Particularly notable is her iconic role in the 1935 film Bride of Frankenstein, where she portrayed the memorable character of the bride, bringing a captivating and unique presence to the screen. Her ability to infuse depth into roles set a standard in cinema. Beyond acting prowess, Lanchester's influence extended to collaborative work with renowned directors and fellow actors. Commitment to craft and character portrayal left an intriguing legacy impacting Hollywood during her time. In addition to acting skills, her career encompassed roles in various genres, showcasing adaptability. Influence on the film industry continued as she navigated different projects, leaving an enduring impression on audiences. Her career unfolded in a dynamic period of Hollywood's history, showcasing resilience in navigating industry complexities. Presence in films became a testament to influence, shaping the cinematic landscape for future generations. Contributions to the film industry are embedded in Hollywood's history, with lasting influence felt beyond her era. Elsa Lanchester's impact speaks to the enduring legacy of a talented actress who shaped the cinematic landscape. Elsa Lanchester, renowned for her acting, witnessed a subtle evolution in the craft over the years. In the early stages, she embraced a classical style, focusing on emotive expressions and precise dialogue delivery. During this period, adaptability became evident as she seamlessly transitioned between stage and screen. As the film industry underwent transformations, she adjusted her approach to match the changing trends. Embracing the advent of sound in movies, Lanchester incorporated nuanced vocal expressions into her repertoire, enhancing the depth of her performances. The evolving cinematic landscape demanded a more naturalistic acting style, a shift she adeptly embraced. Throughout her career, Lanchester demonstrated a keen ability to navigate diverse genres. From dramatic roles to comedic characters, her versatility shown. Adaptability to the demands of different roles solidified her position as a respected and sought-after actress. In the latter part of her career, she continued to refine her craft. The emergence of method acting and more complex character portrayals found a place in her repertoire. Elsa Lanchester's ability to convey depth and authenticity in characters resonated with audiences and critics alike. Her journey through the evolving landscape of the film industry showcases a commitment to her art. The willingness to embrace change and adapt to new trends allow with her to maintain relevance and leave a lasting impact on the world of acting. Elsa Lanchester's life and career are succinctly captured in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, spanning the years 1986-1990. Documented on pages 505-506, this comprehensive biography sheds light on her journey during this period. Notably, she left an indelible mark on cinematic history through involvement in three films honored by the Library of Congress in the National Film Registry. The Bride of Frankenstein, Lassie Come Home, and Mary Poppins were recognized for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. For further insights into her career, actresses of a certain character 40 familiar Hollywood faces from the 30s to the 50s by Axel Nissen provides valuable information. This biography delves into her contributions and distinct presence among Hollywood figures of that era. In summary, her impact on cinema is evident in roles in iconic films, acknowledged by the National Film Registry and detailed in biographical works. The journey through the entertainment landscape is a testament to her enduring significance in the annals of history. In March 1983, she penned a revealing autobiography titled Elsa Lanchester herself, shedding light on her life with Charles Lawton. Allegations surfaced about their childlessness, attributed by some to Lawton's homosexuality and by others to a botched abortion Lanchester had during her early burlesque days. 
Despite conflicting claims, her biographer, Charles Hyam, asserted that the couple consciously chose not to have children. Following her passing, she opted for cremation, and her ashes found their final resting place scattered at sea. In her formative years, at the age of 11, she delved into dance under Isadora Duncan's guidance. Later, she reciprocated by teaching dance to local children and schoolmates. A sharp-tongued Hollywood commentator, Elsa faced the peculiar situation of playing the title role in The Bride of Frankenstein, but was denied top billing. This role became most memorable in the eyes of the public. In 2018, during the Halloween season, her iconic image in the Bride of Frankenstein costume graced the front cover of exclusive Target Store Halloween cards. Having become a naturalized United States citizen, her life and career from 1986-1990 are detailed in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, with a focus on significant contributions to three films honored by the Library of Congress, The Bride of Frankenstein, Lassie Come Home, and Mary Poppins. Axel Nissen's Actresses of a Certain Character further explores her Hollywood journey during the 30s to the 50s. In March 1983, she penned Elsa Lanchester herself, a revealing autobiography shedding light on her life with Charles Lawton. Allegations regarding childlessness arose, with conflicting claims about its cause. Her biographer, Charles Hyam, asserted the conscious choice not to have children. After her passing, she chose cremation, and her ashes found their final resting place scattered at sea. Her early years saw her delve into dance at 11 under Isadora Duncan's guidance, later reciprocating by teaching dance to local children and schoolmates. A Hollywood figure with a unique journey, Elsa Lanchester's impact on cinema and personal life choices are notable aspects of her legacy. Born to lifelong liberal democratic socialist parents, Elsa Lanchester, daughter of James Sullivan and Edith Lanchester, hailed from Battersea, London and Hove, Sussex, respectively. Her family lineage traces back to London, with maternal grandparents Henry and Octavia Lanchester both born and raised in the city. In the realm of her career, she met her future husband, Charles Lawton, during their time in the play Mr. Prohack in 1927. This pivotal connection shaped both her personal and professional life. Their union played a crucial role in defining the trajectory of her career, with notable collaborations in the movie industry. The famous couple's partnership extended beyond the stage, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment world. Together, they became a prominent force in the industry, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of fans and critics alike. The power couple's influence was particularly evident in projects like The Taming of the Shrew and Witness for the Prosecution, showcasing their exceptional chemistry and artistic synergy. Elsa Lanchester's legacy transcends the boundaries of time, her contributions spanning various mediums and genres. Whether in the context of her family background, theatrical collaborations, or cinematic achievements, her story remains an intriguing chapter in the history of entertainment. Elsa Lanchester, born in Battersea, London, and raised in Hove, Sussex, left an indelible mark in cinematic history through roles in seven Oscar Best Picture nominees. Notable films include The Private Life of Henry VIII, David Copperfield, Naughty Marietta, The Razor's Edge, The Bishop's Wife, Witness for the Prosecution, and Mary Poppins. Her influential career reached its pinnacle with collaborations in these acclaimed films, showcasing versatility and impact on the entertainment landscape. The significant recognition received by these movies at the Oscars reflects enduring significance in contributions to the world of cinema. For more insights into her journey during the 30s to the 50s, Axel Nissen's Actresses of a Certain Character provides valuable information. Additionally, the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, delves into life and career from 1986-1990, emphasizing substantial involvement in films acknowledged by the Library of Congress. Her legacy extends beyond the filmography, with a revealing autobiography, Elsa Lanchester herself, published in March 1983. This autobiography sheds light on life with Charles Lawton addressing allegations and conflicting claims about childlessness. Biographer Charles Hyam asserted their conscious choice not to have children. In conclusion, Elsa Lanchester's impact on cinema is evident through roles in Oscar-nominated films, documented in biographies and autobiographies that provide insights into personal and professional life. Enduring significance in the annals of history is a testament to remarkable contributions to the world of entertainment. 
Elsa Lanchester, born in Battersea, London, and raised in Hove, Sussex, made her mark in cinematic history through roles in seven Oscar Best Picture nominees. Notable films include The Private Life of Henry VIII, David Copperfield, Naughty Marietta, The Razor's Edge, The Bishop's Wife, Witness for the Prosecution, and Mary Poppins. Her influential career reached its pinnacle with collaborations in these acclaimed films, showcasing versatility and impact on the entertainment landscape. Axel Nissen's Actresses of a Certain Character provides valuable insights into her journey during the 30s to the 50s. Additionally, the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 2, delves into her life and career from 1986-1990, emphasizing substantial involvement in films acknowledged by the Library of Congress. The significant recognition received by these movies at the Oscars reflects enduring significance in contributions to the world of cinema. In March 1983, Elsa penned a revealing autobiography titled herself, Shedding Light on Her Life with Charles Lawton. Allegations regarding childlessness arose with conflicting claims about its cause. Biographer Charles Hyam asserted their conscious choice not to have children. Her legacy extends beyond the filmography, with the autobiography providing insights into her personal and professional life. Her impact on cinema is evident through roles in Oscar-nominated films, documented in biographies and autobiographies that provide insights into remarkable contributions to the world of entertainment. The story remains an intriguing chapter in the history of entertainment.